What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. In today's video we have an update for Dopamine Jailbreak that was just released, Dopamine 2.0.8, with some important fixes. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to repair your broken iOS device if it's no longer booting, it's stuck in recovery mode, stuck in a boot loop, Apple logo, white screen, black screen and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it does support iOS 17. So just a couple of hours ago, developer Opa334 released Dopamine 2.0.8 on GitHub and this one says all known critical issues except for the A16 random panic should be fixed now. Enjoy. Now if you go here on the change log, you can find the TIPA and IPA files which you can get for troll store and stuff like that so you can install them. And here's the change log. It fixes VPN not working on ARM64, fix iCloud settings being partially grayed out on ARM64, fix apps not showing up in settings on ARM64, so a lot of ARM64 related issues, and fix support for iOS 15.0 beta 1 up to 15.0 beta 3. So you should definitely go ahead and update right now. The previous version, version 2.0.7 released yesterday, also included some important fixes for battery section not loading, camera application not working and stuff like that. It fixed iDownloadD getting started during user space reboots even if iDownload was disabled in settings and so on. So you should definitely go ahead update your jailbreak. You can update your jailbreak directly from the document application on your device. There should be an update button and I do have a previous video in which I show you how to do that but you should definitely go ahead and update this with Troll Store. Many people who try to install this with Alt Store or Siloadly told me they have issues with the jailbreak failing so I would highly recommend to use troll store instead. So yeah, not a huge update but it does fix various issues and pretty good idea to go ahead and just update to 2.0.8 especially if you have an older one because there have been many many fixes in these in here. Now I do have this article over here on iDeviceCentral.com with dopamine containing everything about dopamine 2.x so the supported devices and of course iOS versions, how to install it, what tweaks have been tested and stuff like that. Definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time. Peace out.